Today we are talking about what brings down property values, ways that your home can be losing value even in our current booming market. Hey friends, Mary Howard here with There's No Place Like Home NC, Red Boots Realty powered by EXP Realty. And on this channel, I provide educational content to help buyers and sellers when they are deciding whether to buy or sell a home. Today's topic is what brings down property value? Number five, too many pets. I love fur babies, but when a home goes on the market and there are too many animals, there are animal smells or multiple dogs barking, it will hurt the selling of that particular home. The home will normally sell for less money than a home that has no evidence of pets. Number four, too much furniture. My general rule is that when you put your home on the market, you probably need to declutter and depersonalize about a third of all the stuff you have inside your home. A well-staged home can sell for as much as 10% more than a home that is full of furniture and personal items. Number three, a poorly managed HOA. The definition of an HOA is a homeowners association and they charge fees to maintain your common areas. This includes the neighborhood pool, the clubhouse, walking trails, tennis courts, and lakes. If they are not maintained, they become an eyesore and they can lower the value of a community. In a condo situation, the HOA maintains the entire building. Once that organization is financially mismanaged, to get back in the black, they will have to charge the residents a big lump sum. Those are called assessments and they can be any, any range. I've seen up to about $20,000 per resident. Obviously, when that happens, it hurts the value of the homes in that subdivision or that building. If you're looking to purchase a home, make sure you ask for the HOA financials. And once you get moved in, get involved and keep an eye on what they're doing because it's going to affect your value. Number two, getting behind on your mortgage payments. If you have a loan, you have monthly payments that you are required to pay. If you get behind on your payments, it is really hard to catch back up on. And then there are penalties, late fees, and interest. You don't want to miss a payment. When the bank comes and takes these homes back, they sell them way below market value and that hurts the value of the whole neighborhood. The number one way that your home could be losing value is lack of maintenance. All homes need maintaining. There is daily maintenance, washing your dishes or wiping the counters. Weekly maintenance, vacuuming your floor, washing your laundry. Monthly maintenance, washing your windows. Seasonal maintenance, making sure that your bushes and your trees aren't touching the house and the roof. There are systems that need to be maintained seasonally. Your HVAC system, your furnace needs to be inspected and serviced. You need to check that water heater periodically and quarterly. I suggest you go into your crawl space and make sure there is no standing water or evidence of water. You have to maintain your home so your home will maintain its value and you get the return on that investment that you deserve. Thank you for watching this video about what brings down property value. If you have any questions, feel free to call me 704-560-0823. Thank you again for watching. My name is Mary Howard and this is There Is No Place Like Home in Sea. Take care.